Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we're going to be doing Lady Tameo from Kimitsu no Yaiba Demon Slayer. So, landscape paper. Use a pencil and eraser. Hit pause if I go too fast when I move my hand and stuff. Try, have fun, take your time. I send a point to my page about here. We we'll go up, just over to the right hand side a little bit, and we'll start with her right eye and very, very big eyelashes. Okay. So, what we got to do is do this big sort of curved line coming across, right? Like so, right? And then we've got like some lines kind of spiking off the ends. And then it goes like up. Now she's like real big eyelashes, right? So like. Much bigger than you'd think. So we're just adding the shape first. With some sort of spikes kind of sticking out. And then we will color it in. Right, real big eyelashes. Then, iris, big as well. So you just have a curved line coming down here. Curve down on the other side. And then her eyelid line underneath joins them together. And then there's eyelashes that come down. Say from each there. And then a certain spikes as well on the front here like so let me go over and do the same pretty much on the other side so you just do curve line at first and then we add the sort of spikes So, and if you're wondering like how far apart you want these to be, I'd say the width of our iris will fit in between, right? And then we just go across. Make so and add some sort of spikes stuff here, and then just color it dark. And then iris lines, brackets, kind of like so. Then the bottom of our eyelid joins those together. And then we just add our eyelashes, these sort of little spikes. Sticking off. And you can thicken it up a little bit and add some on the top as well. Like so. So she's no pupil iris, it's just like shaded in purple. So it starts with dark purple and shades gradually down, right? So we don't need to draw in anything. So eyelid line then. Like so. Same thing on this side pretty much. Like that. And then eyebrows flat coming across. So we go like so. And you can like sort of maybe thicken up at the front a little bit and get skinnier as we go back. Gradually. And then eyebrow on the other side over here. Thicken up the front a little bit. Do, 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 do. So then her nose, so we just have nostrils down here. And maybe some like hatching. Just on the side of her nose like that. 
So her mouth, so she just has lipstick, right? But just draw like the center line for her lip first. Right, like so. So she's not really showing m much of her mouth, right? In a lot of it. So let's see. So like if you're doing anime style, right? I'm just trying to zoom in on her face here now. You can do pink, right, if you're coloring. But if you want me to draw, I think I will draw it. Let me just see. We'll do it in uh, black. I need like a bigger picture. Where is that? Bum, 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 bum. Sorry now. Oh, really? There's no big ones? Hopefully I'll edit th this out. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so um, so I'll draw it in, right? So what we can see of her lips, right? So we'll just color this in dark, right? So I'll just draw her bottom lip. It's quite small. And what you do, right, to make it look like lipstick is you just leave a highlight like down here somewhere. So you just draw a circle and then color the rest dark. Now, of course, if you're doing it anime or manga, anime style, you know, you'd want that to be kind of pink. And then you can add a little bit on top. She doesn't have much of a top lip, so it just like goes up and down. Kind of like that, right? That's one way of doing it anyway. And then they have these shadow underneath their chin in Demon Slayer, underneath their bottom lip. Like so, and then her chin. Just down here, kind of pointy. Sort of chin. Just there. So in terms of proportion, eyelashes to nose is about the same as nose to chin. So these big eyelashes right at the top here to here, about the same as here to here, okay? And then nostrils to bottom lip, about the same as bottom lip to chin, like this area of the bottom lip, sort of just below her lipstick. Here to here, about the same as there to there, roughly speaking. Okay, so that's our proportion that we're working with. Then we go for her jaw. Gradually sort of curve up to about here, just underneath the corner of her eye. We do the same on this side. So depending if you're right-handed or left-handed, it can be one side can be harder than another. For me, this is harder than this side because I can just go like that. But with this one, I gotta go like slowly. And we're stopping just sort of under the corner of her eye roughly. And then we change direction and go up the side of her face. And up here, she has sideburn and the start of her hair, right? So we got like a little bit of a sideburn here. Like that. So she has tied back um, kind of female hair, right? So the center line for her fringe and her forehead is just here. I like to think that I the eye eyebrows to the top of the forehead is about the same as the eyebrows to say the nose sort of area. So here to here is about the same as here to like the shadow on her nose. Not the nostrils, the like tip of her nose. Roughly. Okay. Just so you don't make the forehead too big. Then hairline comes down here. Spikes zigzags down to there okay and then we have some pieces of fringe that come down and around her ears right so say so like coming out from here so we'll go up around Just some of these lines now it's mostly done in shadow and demon slayer so 
you know, it's not really drawn in. Maybe some shadow here. Right, like so. And there's like a line up the middle of her head like that. And then this will just come down. Round like so. Down. Round to there. And then we'll bump up. Meet another bump here. And this will go in up towards here. Kind of same thing on this side, so we'll bump around and then we'll bump around again. This will go up like so. And eventually we'll go around to the top of our head. So the top of our head is just here, right? So you're roughly going up that same distance again, kind of her forehead, maybe a little bit more. Right, so you just so the eyebrows are like roughly halfway down from the hair, so like top of her head to her eyebrows, but the same as eyebrows to chin. So this you want this to be sort of halfway. So so you just so you don't go up too high with the hair, right? So here to here forehead about that distance again is where the top of her head is and you want the eyebrows to be about halfway between all that this is the halfway point right then we go down like so down the other side can add some texture just in the middle like so right so then her ears so coming down from underneath this hair bit of an ear in here kind of lines up with the nostrils see there because her head is like just standard sort of forward facing and then we do some lines inside the ears so like bones and ligaments and all that stuff lots of different ways of doing it you don't have to be like super particular with it or anything roughly like that and her neck narrow sort of thin neck just there and her kimono comes down this way right, so then we have another part of it here like so and then it comes across like that. Up like so, and then around here. I think there's another line that should come down across here. Like so, and then bumping down here. And another one kind of goes that way and then a shoulder off like so off to there so details flowers on her kimono we will draw them in because they're sort of you know distinctive so we have the center of like a rose or some sort of flower there and then the petals come around kind of thing so like you know things in nature and stuff they you can do them roughly speaking you know it doesn't have to be exactly like what's on the on the screen or the image in front of you you're just getting the essence of it you know these lines in the middle and some leaves, like green leaves, coming down this way. Mm 
And then there's some pink here. And then another flower. That's the center. And then the petals. So, and then some Leaves and some pink sort of stems or something like here. These don't have black line around it from what I can see, but I'll we'll draw them just so we get them in the right place and all that. And there is a shadow underneath her chin. She also has a hairpin that I nearly forgot. It's another sort of flower shape. With a ball on the end. And like a pin or something, some sort of thing back here. Like so, and the, it's like a daisy, so it has like a yellow center line. And then the petals have all those lines on them there. Uh, oh, and she's some hair behind her neck. Just tied up as well as just these two bumps. Like so. Uh, that's it. That's how to draw Lady Tamio from Demon Slayer. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.